So we're back in, standing in the rain here, just looking at that last razor bowl going down uh, the elevator. And uh, we've had a pretty good run in the last episode just because we figured out how powerful razor bowls can be if you put those cannons on them. Uh, so what do we have? A seal and a walrus that needs to make its way back in here. And then we want to head on over and get this island so that we can we can get some aerial chassis built. Um, okay, so while we're waiting for those ones, I can't remember because it's been a little while since I played the previous episode. We actually started doing the reconnaissance here. Okay, stabilize this. And island's always on our right hand side. But there we can see some lights. Maybe I should just get a, a razor bull up in the air before I even start traveling towards this island with the ship. It's not particularly far away. Because if there's no... Okay, well, they do have an air base, so we are going to have some anti-air, and that's something to think about. Because those... Those are two albatrosses, it seems like, but they could pose a threat to the razor bull, and I think that one's a razor bull, most likely. That's something to think about. That's the tower. Is that a turret? Uh, that's always a problem. We definitely want to get rid of that as well. Yeah. So you don't even want to approach these when you have one of these around because they can be really, can be a real nuisance for your ground troops. Okay, did we miss anything? I'm sure we must have. So they've clearly spotted us, so they're rolling out the air forces. Okay. So I'm still waiting for those to come back in. Just how far is this? I mean, this seems pretty close to me. I think we can send up one of the razor bolts and see how it goes. So, which ones do we have? These two both have cannons on them, and they're completely fueled up. So I want to send one of these out over there. Put it up to about an altitude of a thousand meters. That should be, that should be good enough. And then by the time that gets there, we'll redirect the carrier as well. Now one thing to note, I'm not sure exactly when I'm actually going to be uploading this video because I've recorded a few and I'll sort of be spreading them out across a few days. But um, I have been reading in the forums that in the current build, taking on the swordfish ship is a real problem. It's a little bit unbalanced. It's basically powerful to the extent that you have to throw so many resources at taking one out that uh, it may not even be worth it to take those islands. I mean, I've, I've tried myself and it, it does seem to be the case, but um, it could just be that we're taking the wrong approach as well. There's a chance that I may want to hold off on extending the series until at least that part is figured out or patched or whatever needs to happen there. Um, but it's also possible that by the time you watch this video, that's already been done, and the series will just continue as normal. Right. So the last walrus seems to be making its way back onto the carrier. I don't think we need to wait for anything else. We can just keep going. Just want to make sure. I feel like... I kind of feel like I've left something here. So we've deployed... Why does this say that... Why do I have all of my vehicles on? Oh, I think I see what happened. I must have outfitted something while... I still have a walrus that's coming in, so this is a mistake. I need to get rid of one of these. Probably this one. How do I do that? Just clear the slot. And then it can come back on. Must have done that without realizing in the previous episode. 
So you can try to get back into the ship now. And while you do that, we'll manually pilot this razor ball. So we want both cannons to be on manual. May need to be ready with the countermeasures. Um, where's the island? Oh, there it is. Still quite a ways away. We're gonna head on over there and see how much damage we can do. But there definitely is some balance that's needed in the game. And I understand that, I mean, the accuracy of the AI, things like cannons right now, and the bombs as well, is so bad that it just renders it almost completely useless. And I understand that the developers need to do that because there needs to be a reason for you to manually buy stuff as well. If that's less efficient, then nobody's ever going to do it. I think that's our plane down there. But... Uh, it should be, you know, like 10% worse than when the player is doing it manually, not, you know, 90% worse, which is what it currently is. I mean, it's not even that it's worse. I did not see that. That's, uh, that's not one of ours, obviously, because it's trying to take us out. Also, it seems that the AI is more on target when it's not being, uh, when it's not the player's AI. Okay, it is right behind us. This is not good. I wonder if we can try to fire back at this thing. So I'm going to need to get rid of these air units before. I mean, we can still try to make some strafing runs. Let's see. It would be nice if I can take out that turret. I don't want to lose a razor ball here. Why don't I have the targets lighting up? That's strange. Usually I have that. There we go, it's one done. Oh, it's because I didn't have the weapon selected. That was the issue. So anyway, what I was saying is that I don't think the issue is so much that the AI is not as good as flying stuff manually, it's just the, the inconsistency in my needs to be... Uh, there's a lot of units there that I didn't actually tag. It might be a good idea to take them out first. We can manage that. Uh, this is very close. Okay. Oh, there's another one. Quite a few on this island. It is a two shield island, so there should be a bit more resistance at least. I mean, I do appreciate that they haven't made it too hard for the player to, to manually shoot stuff with the cannons, um, because this is not meant to be a full on fight sim. Which reminds me, there's another flight sim out by Microprose, uh, I forget the name now, I think it's Tiny Combats uh, Arena, which is also pretty cool. It also strikes a nice balance between arcade and simulation. I haven't had a chance to cover it on the channel yet, I might do it at some point. But it's worth checking out. Also early access, but relatively cheap worth a look. It's like a whole line of them over here. I can't... I said this in the last episode as well, but I just can't believe how effective this actually is and how much time I've wasted trying to take islands without using this combination of the razor ball with guns and manual control. I'm sure this will not be a viable option on the higher shield islands because 
there will just be too much anti-air to take care of. But on these islands, it's extremely effective. I think this unit's inside the hangar, so it may be a bit difficult for us to take that out. So let's go and get those two. Uh, we've got the... Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the the AI from the actual AI player is just as bad because he's having trouble hitting me with guns in a helicopter. Oh, he's right in front of me. Let's just see if we can land a shot. Doesn't look like it. If you're good at this, it must be horrible watching me play and on multiple occasions almost crashing this thing. I'm playing with a mouse and keyboard, I'm not using the controller, uh, which I'm sure for this part, the controller should probably be better, but for everything else I do like using a mouse and keyboard. Let's see, is he actually going to hit me? No. Although it does appear to get closer than what I've seen the AI do on, on strafing runs. But I'm giving it orders. Okay, that's the turret. Let's see if we can take that out. Perfect. Oh, there's another turret there as well. And again, we are going to almost crash here. We'll get rid of this. Okay, so that's both of them gone. We've only got 15 bullets. I need to send this back. Oh, it did actually take quite a few hits here. No, I think that confirms it for me. What people have been saying on the forums is probably true that uh, when the AI player is taking control of vehicles, it does seem to have better accuracy because the AI isn't able to hit stationary turrets. So it's still shooting. This is an issue. I've just got to hope this thing's going to make it back alive. But let's uh, let's start heading in that direction. Switch this off. All right. Uh, what do we have going on in the logistics front? We still have some fuel being produced here. Quite a bit of fuel. And we still only have one barge, so... I do think we'll probably send this one. If there's nothing else for it to pick up. There's nothing here, nothing here. Oh, you can produce ships here as well, but... I mean, it's pretty expensive. I don't know if it's going to be worth it, at least for the time being. Uh, go back and pick up some fuel. And let's just have a look. What else do we still have in storage? Hmm. Still a few things that needs to be picked up. And we probably have enough fuel for now, so I may want to... Oh, but we didn't put in an order for this. Let's do that now. 50. So let's alter its route. This is actually not going to be... First it will go back there, and then it will come back to the carrier. That's better. Okay, uh, how are we doing here? Oh no. I need to slow down. I don't think the helicopter would make it back this fast, but it did. There we go. Just want to make sure it doesn't miss the deck. We'll probably send up another one if we once we get closer. How is this one doing on fuel? 47%. That's okay for now. Let's just do another quick scan here. Well, rather, 
we'll get this thing going full power. And then we'll do another quick scan. There's something else, I've gotten used to it now, but every time when you finish with a screen, you have to hit escape twice because you have to get out of the chair as well. And, and that just seems completely unnecessary to me. It should just be once. I can, I can think of no scenario in which you'll want to exit the screen and not get out of the chair that you're currently sitting in. So they could just get rid of that completely. It's one of the principles when it comes to software design that you should always have the fewest possible number of clicks or it's definitely something there, uh, you know, clicks or button presses to do the same action, and I think that's just one that they've missed on the quality control. Or maybe just didn't initially realize that you aren't always going to have people indefinitely sitting in seats in the game, um, even in multiplayer. Yeah, so we did get that one. It would be good if we can take care of the aerial units before we send up the next razor door. I think we've just about gotten everything here that we can. I'm hardly using the cruise missiles now, but I'll probably save those for islands where I actually need them. Okay, yeah, how close are we getting here? Pretty close. Yeah, very close, actually. Uh, probably don't need to get any closer than this. So we'll just stop it here, switch our weapon systems back online, and start taking care of these aerial units. In fact, I also want to send up one of the Wavels. Not Wavels. Um, Okay, just get one out. I think I'm close enough now that it doesn't really matter where their aerial units are, I'll be able to shoot them with anti-air missiles. So we'll just keep doing that until we get rid of them. There we go. Is that going to hit? First one is a miss. Second one is also a miss. Let's fire more. Tracking. I don't know if it's. I'm assuming, yeah, it's firing countermeasures. So, again, that one's a miss. That one's also a miss. The more we fire, presumably, the more countermeasures it'll need to use. So, eventually, we need to get it. And I guess that's pretty realistic. I mean, sometimes with this kind of warfare, you just have to keep firing until one gets through the net. Okay, it's tracking. I think I can see the countermeasures again. But I have also seen people saying in the in the forums that sometimes the enemy appears to have unlimited ammo, and if that's the case, again, that's not great. Um, I know in most games the AI is sort of cheat, for lack of a better word, but you want to keep it somewhat fair, like, or at least it should feel fair to the player even if it isn't always the case. Okay, manual control. So we're gonna make our way back towards the island. This is where it's useful to have the runway lights on as well, just as a reference point. Since I've never encountered the enemy carrier, I don't actually know if they keep their lights on or not. It would be useful if they do. Okay, so we've recalled the albatross. I just want to go mop up the last couple of units that we didn't get on the on the last run. Alright. I forget to select my cannons, which is necessary otherwise. I can't see the targets that have been painted. 
So this is one of their planes. Let's see if we can do some damage here with the guns. Doesn't seem to be landing the hits. I'm not seeing any other ground units. Uh, it's only those ones that are sort of off a small separate little island. So maybe if we can just go and mop up those last two. And then I can just outfit two of those walrus units, or maybe one seal and walrus with anti-air to clean up the remaining anti-air units. I wonder if we can hit at this distance. Yeah, we actually can. Just keep firing. That's both of them gone. I don't really have to save this ammo. We have so much that I doubt we'll ever even need to produce it. But um, it's just that you have to go back and obviously land this again and get another one up in the air, so... I do want to try taking out one of those aerial units with this as well. It's sort of the next step here. Yeah, let's just reduce the power completely, lose a bit of altitude. And see if there's any of them by the hangar. We're literally almost landing at their airport. I wonder what happens if you set this down gently, if it's actually capable of doing that. There's nobody here. Okay, let's just leave this for a second. Um, send it over here. What happened to the aerial units? No idea, I'm not hearing any of the alerts. There's nothing in the airport. So... Let's do this. There's one Warris unit. I'm going to turn that into an anti-air vehicle. So just give that a second. And we'll send out a couple of seals. As always, it's just good to have a bit of security, just in case. So this one, just go and park him over there. That's not what I meant to do. And park this one right next to it. And then we'll... Oh, this is still getting loaded up, so... But we can deploy SEAL units as well. The thing is, if they do send aerial units in here somewhere, we've got that Razor Bowl. We've got anti-air weapons, so we can still protect these, even though I don't have my amphibious anti-air vehicle deployed yet. This should go fairly quickly because we're parked right next to this island. I just want to go through the supplies here again to see... We don't have any... Okay, we have three spare seal chassis and we have two albatross. We need more razor balls. Now, we can probably get these after we take over this island. Because, I mean, obviously I've realized just how useful the Razor Bulls are. Um, yeah, the other thing is, how many of these turrets do we actually have? Five. Can we produce those now? We can. I may want it to make another stop. By the way, the turrets that we put on the Razor Bulls, that's another question, because let's just have a look here. So this is 20 millimeter auto cannon. And we have, I should have just checked that now four of those. It's not a whole lot. And if I get a couple taken out, that could become a problem. 
I'm not seeing that there. 20 millimeter auto cannon. Am I just missing it here somewhere? This is the ammo for it. Like I said, we have a ton of that. Torpedo. Aircraft chain gun. Oh, I think it's just it's just using a different name. But it is the aircraft chain gun. So where do I produce that then? Surely it must be at this facility. Yes, but I haven't unlocked it yet. Yeah, that's something to prioritize. We want a couple of these. Um, just build five. We'll put in the order as well. For the chain gun. And then we'll, we'll give this one more stop to make, assuming that it's still going to have any space at that point. Let's try. So it's going to go here first, then it will get over here. Um, then it's important to just look at where we can actually get... Okay, get out of that. Um, which one unlocks the aircraft chain gun? It seems to be this. I think it's that one. So we need to go and take this Ivan this well. It's going to be our next target. If we don't want to make the barge our next target, but I still don't feel like we really need to. That's just one shield. That should be the obvious next choice. Now, unfortunately, by the time I play the next episode of this, I may have forgotten that that's what we've decided, but hopefully I'll reach the same conclusion again. Um, why is this low on fuel? 39%. Not seeing any other aerial units, so let's just bring this back in then. And... On the off chance that there is anything, nah, I can actually just leave this in here because I think if it gets close enough to this, carriers, anti-air defenses will take care of it anyway. So let's go and see what these guys are are seeing. Still a little, little ways to go to get there. But yeah, I'm a bit concerned about... Um, so the problem, as I said earlier, with the swordfish is that as soon as you start going to three shield islands, sometimes you can encounter, I don't know, two or three of those, and you just have to throw so much resources at it. And it could just be this specific build of the game. This will probably get patched out. Uh, but as of right now, pretty much everyone in the forums is complaining about it. Uh, so clearly there is a serious problem there. Okay, so it's on land. We'll just take over manual control to get to that building. Now you see what would have usually happened to me in the past um, before I realized that you can sometimes get turrets on these two shield islands is I would have thought that everything's been eliminated and you get to the island and the turrets start opening fire on you. And uh, they can actually destroy this vehicle completely without too much trouble. So you do want to always check for that when you're doing your sweep. Just look around this tower if there's a base around it. Uh, try to spot the turrets. Um, I think this is it. Should we just release. Let's see if the virus bots are moving. If they're not moving, it means that they're already close enough. Yeah, I think they're probably close enough. So I'm just going to drive this out of here a little bit so that it doesn't get stuck on the way back. Is one of the other seals as well. Okay, that should be good enough. Let's let it get back to carrier. One of the things you get used to is to really zoom in when you're trying to command these land units. Otherwise, when you're like this, it's just really difficult to find the right one that you're trying to select. Um, We'll get this island soon then. So what are we unlocking? Get a little bit closer. 
Oh, it's going to give us the... I don't actually know what this is called, but these are almost like sky cranes, and those are going to be useful, because then we can go and pick up vehicles using aerial units, which is... I mean, on an island like this, it doesn't matter so much, because it's like right there. But on the bigger ones, where it may be difficult to, to get to the building that you need to capture, I think this will be massively useful. I wonder if it's possible to also go and drop stuff off. I don't think so, but... Um, Anyway. Oh, by the way, in some of the previous videos, and again, I'm not sure when I'm actually going to be posting this one, but I realized that this countermeasures, this is actually for torpedoes. So you can either shoot out noisemakers from here, or you can use the countermeasures up here. Both of them should help protect you against torpedoes from enemy ships. But, uh,. Okay, so this is just about captured. We'll head on over here. Yeah, there we go. So we've just gotten island captured, and now we can petrol. That's what it's called. And we're actually going to go ahead and reduce some of these. Probably want to do how much are these? A thousand each. How much is it for the razor ball? Seven fifty. So there are two more of these two of these. That should do for now. And then we'll just go put in the order as well. And uh, then we'll eventually pick these up. I'll just need to see how much space that barge is actually going to have left. Uh, these will be right at the bottom, actually. Yeah, here we go. So, two of these. And two of these. It may seem cumbersome that you need to do this, but I do understand why they made you put in the orders as well because sometimes you may not want the barge to pick something up if it's got limited capacity and you want to prioritize certain things so that does kind of make sense but uh yeah i i'm gonna end this one here uh, like i said i'm not sure when the next episode's gonna come out like this video will definitely be posted about a week after i've actually recorded it and if the updates have been made by that time then i'll probably just continue the series otherwise there might be a bit of a gap but anyway, as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.